بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم پریویس لیکچر میں ہم نے ڈیفینیشن پڑھی تھی ریمانٹیگرل کی اس لیکچر میں ہم کچھ ایگزامپلس دیکھیں گے تاکہ ڈیفینیشن جو ہے اس کو اچھی طرح سے انڈرسٹینڈ کیا جا سکے سب سے پہلے ڈیفینیشن کو ہم ریوائز کر لیتے ہیں ریمانٹیگبل فنکشن ریمانٹیگبل فنکشن از اے فنکشن از اے فنکشن ایف از سیٹ ٹو بی ریمانٹیگبل on the closed interval a b if there exists a real number l such that for every epsilon greater than 0 we can find a delta epsilon such that for any tag partition p dot of the closed interval a b whose norm is less than delta epsilon we have the difference of the riemann sums and l is less than epsilon now the first example that a constant function on a closed interval a b is riemann integrable on this interval Consider the constant function f of x is equal to k for all x from the closed interval a, b and uh, any tag partition p dot uh, which contains these sub intervals x i minus 1, x i and the tags t i is i from 1 to n of the closed interval a, b and we form the Riemann sums s f p dot which is equal to sum of the product of the values of function at the tags multiplied by lengths of the sub intervals. Since f of t i is equal to k i for all t i, therefore the Riemann sum will be equal to summation i from 1 to n k into lengths of the sub interval x i minus x i minus 1. k can be taken as common and here is the length of the sum of the lengths of the all sub intervals which will become equal to the length of the whole interval. Therefore uh, the Riemann sum will become equal to k into b minus a and this will be taken as l now if we uh, consider this difference difference of Riemann sum and this l this will be equal to 0 because this is also k into b minus a therefore this difference will be 0 and hence less than any epsilon greater than 0 no mat doesn't matter whatever delta you choose uh, in particular here we have delta epsilon is equal to 1 and therefore uh, the difference of Riemann sums and L this is less than epsilon so we can say that f is Riemann integrable or the closed interval a b and Riemann integral of f is equal to k into b minus a next example is a function g defined on the closed interval 0 3 like this g of x is equal to 2 when x is uh, greater than or equal to 0 less than or equal to 1 and g of x is equal to 3 if x is greater than 1 and less than or equal to 3 and we shall prove that Riemann integral of this is equal to 8 this is the graph of the given function now consider uh, any tag partition p dot of the interval 0 3 such that its norm is less than delta and we shall determine this delta later Basically, we shall show that for every given epsilon greater than 0, we can always find a delta such that by making the norm of partition less than that given delta, the difference of Riemann sums and this L can be made less than epsilon. We further divide our partition P dot into two sub parts. P1 dot is a subset of P dot having tags in the closed interval 0 1 because our function is defined on this closed interval 0 1 g of x is equal to 2 and the other part of this partition P is P2 dot which is a subset of P dot having tags in this interval because on this the function g of x is defined as 3. Now our Riemann sum of g will be equal to sum of two Riemann sums sum of g over the partition tag partition p1 dot plus sum of g over the tag partition p2 dot now we shall show that the length of the union of all intervals in p1 dot lies between 1 minus delta and 1 plus delta for this purpose if u1 denotes the union of all sub intervals in p1 dot then we shall show that the closed interval 0 to 1 minus delta is contained in u1 and u1 is contained in the closed interval 0 to 1 plus delta. This will prove that the lengths of the union of all uh, intervals in p1 dot is between uh, 1 minus delta and 1 plus delta. To prove this inclusion, 
uh, first we take a point from this closed interval let this is u u is from this interval it means that u belongs to sub interval in p1 dot let this interval be i k given by x k minus 1 to x k as norm of uh, p dot partition tag partition is less than delta it means that length of each sub interval is less than delta means x k minus x k minus 1 is less than delta or x k is less than x k minus 1 plus delta and u belongs to i k means u is between x k minus 1 and x k and also u is from the closed interval so u is bounded above by this therefore x k minus 1 is less than equal to u and u is less than equal to 1 minus delta or x k minus 1 if we uh, ignore this x k minus 1 is less than 1 minus delta now again we consider this and replace x k minus 1 by greater number 1 minus delta so x k is less than x k minus 1 which is less than equal to 1 minus delta and plus this delta so we prove that x k is less than 1 this proves that tag t k of sub interval i k satisfies t k is less than 1 because t k will be from the interval x k minus 1 to x k so it will be less than 1 this implies that u belongs to the interval u1 and uh, set u1 because this u1 is the union of all those sub intervals whose tags uh, belong to the closed interval 0 and 1 this implies that this closed interval is contained in u1 now we shall prove that u1 is contained in the closed interval 0 to 1 plus delta uh, let's consider u from the u1 it means that u belongs to sub interval whose tag in closed interval 0 1 it means that u belongs to the closed interval 0 to 1 plus delta this implies that u1 is contained in 0 to closed interval 1 plus delta similarly we can prove that the union of all those sub intervals with tags in this interval this union contains this interval 1 plus delta to 3 and itself it is contained in this interval uh, closed interval 1 minus delta to 3 uh, if we name that union as u2 we will have this inclusion closed interval 1 plus delta to 3 is contained in u2 and further u2 is contained in closed interval 1 minus delta to 3 now uh, we form the two uh, Riemann sums sum of g over the partition p1 dot will be greater than or equal to 2 into length of this interval and less than or equal to 2 into length of this interval because over this partition p1 the function has value 2 we have given by this and the uh, length of the interval in this partition p1 dot they are bounded above by length of this and bounded below by length of this therefore this sum will be greater than or equal to 2 into length of this is 1 minus delta and this sum will be less than or equal to 2 into length of this which is which is 1 plus delta similarly uh, the other Riemann sum of g over uh, second part of the partition it will be less than uh, greater than or equal to 3 into length of this interval and less than or equal to 3 into length of this interval because g of x is equal to 3 for all x greater than 1 and less than or equal to 3 and the union of intervals in the partition p2 is bounded above by this interval and bounded below by this interval therefore this Riemann sum is greater than or equal to 3 into 2 minus delta and less than or equal to 3 into 2 plus delta if we add inequalities 1 and 2 we will get this and finally we will have negative 5 delta is less than or equal to Riemann sum of g over the tag partition p dot minus 8 less than or equal to 5 delta 
and in the form of mod we shall have remand sum of g over the partition tag partition p dot minus 8 is less than equal to 5 delta now we want to make this less than any given epsilon so we will replace delta by epsilon over 5 so for every given epsilon greater than 0 we can always construct a delta by dividing that given epsilon by 5 when we replace this delta with epsilon over 5 this expression will become less than epsilon which is the required condition for Riemann integrability therefore uh, for a given epsilon there will be always a delta which will be uh, simply the given epsilon divided by 5 such that Riemann sums minus L will be less than epsilon whenever the norm of the tag partition is less than the delta which is epsilon over 5 hence uh, G is Riemann integral over this closed interval and its Riemann integral is 8 and uh, now the homework and I assign you uh, uh, part C and D of the same example given on the page 203 and 204 and that's all for today uh, thank you Allah Hafiz